Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another hoot. Every time I say it's a crazy week, but this week has been a little bit crazier. Unfortunately, as you know, Israel is at war, not only in Gaza, Lebanon after Syria, but now with Iran. So crazy times to talk about birds, which are beautiful, and war, which is not. So if you like this comment, first and foremost, if you can uh, subscribe, if you not already subscribed, I appreciate it. But let's get into it. So we're in Israel, Barnal Ramon Kim. Here you see the nestling swallowing a mouse. And unfortunately, this is the only place in the world where you can watch a barn owl live and hear sirens of an incoming missile attack from Iran. Very sad stuff. I mean, this is a reality that we live in. Unfortunately, we live in it, but also the animals and wildlife, our dogs and cats have to go through it too. It's, you know, pretty scary stuff. Hopefully it'll um, end uh, sooner than later. We can get back to our normal lives and we will not need to listen to these sirens in our live cams. Pretty surreal, pretty crazy. During this time, all the people run, run to their safe room, myself including with my daughters and my dog and cat. We all run to the safe room, close ourselves in, and wait for the sirens end and, and the attack to finish. Surreal thing, but this is Israel 2025. Luckily though, this barn owl nestling, we started off the week and he's doing great. The will nestling, so the parents just need to bring enough food to feed him uh, in the, in their cells, and they're doing a pretty good job here. The adult brings a vole. Um, voles are typically very common, but this year are not as common, and that's one of the reasons why the pair only has one nestling, and um, just not enough food this year. Uh, they're bringing a little bit more. Uh, oh, here's about to down this vole. Voles are great because they're a little bit larger than mice, uh, and they're typically, when they're common, they're very, very common. Uh, and the nestlings are able to swallow, swallow these guys whole. Um, what they're bringing a little bit more is more house mice, which are significantly smaller. They weigh about 15 grams, where uh, a vole can weigh up to 40 to 70 grams, which is much, much larger. But this guy has no problem gulping down these mice. Uh, and he's basically alone at this point. Uh, the uh, female does not roost with them anymore. And this is a case of uh, we know there's not enough food when they bring birds. Birds are not common in an agriculture landscape habitat like this camera. But there's, it, it's much easier, harder for them to eat and swallow them. They can't swallow a bird whole. They got to break it apart. And as we know, the beak of the owl is not as strong as a diurnal bird of prey. But during the daytime, this guy's doing a lot. So um, wing exercising, building up his muscles in the wing. This is a nice large box, so there's enough room he's able to do it, and also no other siblings to, to bother him. So he's really pouncing around. This is super important, this exercise and this practicing pouncing, developing the skills. When he leaves the nest, he'll already have strong wing muscles and also some of the instincts of pouncing. So keep an eye out this guy. He's very, there you go, nice pounce, very entertaining. Um, hopefully, the parents will bring enough food and he'll be fledging uh, in a not so uh, far distance and hopefully no more sirens. In Florida, barn owl cam number one, we do see the adult side sometimes coming in the roost. And in barn owl, Florida cam number two also up here, they're scorting. This is very common during the non-breeding season. They keep the, it helps keep the bond between the pair. Not only people have to bond and give gifts gifts and warmth and, and and love also the owls do the same thing so we got our griffin vulture uh cam with a cute handicap uh, vulture growing very very well such a, a cutie he's beginning to look like a, a vulture like a parent standing up uh, walking around inside of his nest even he at 70 days old around even left the nest which was a little bit too early uh, and the rangers actually uh, came and, and brought him back it's on nature parks authority parents are doing an excellent job feeding this little guy he's growing this is a really entertaining camera to watch uh, the parents despite being handicapped do an amazing job feeding and protecting this nestling 
and eventually he'll fledge and he'll fly away and the parents will stay there. Obviously they're handicapped, they can't fly, but they, they've done this multiple times and successfully fledged nestlings every year. So excellent uh, parents. And this guy is just growing, look at him, practicing, also wing exercising, jumping. He too wants to build his mes uh, muscles up while in the, the box. So we got our little owls cam. Unfortunately, they did not lay this season. They're coming in and out, mainly on top of the box. You can still see these guys. And we have uh, our common kestrel cam. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, with the pigeons that were predated, uh, killed by the miners, the miners are still uh, coming. Hopefully, the, the parents laid a second egg. Hopefully, they'll be able to keep it this time. And lastly, we got Israel Bonnell Camp number four. Uh, the pigeons had two eggs in the beginning of the week. Uh, parent, the parents and pigeons are amazing. They, they pair bond and they, they broom and uh, preen each other. It's very, very common. And we do have two nestlings, two squabs that hatched this week. Hopefully they'll be fine. No intruders will come and, and hurt them. Hopefully they'll be able to fledge. But this is the drama box. Lots going on. Three different pairs that want to use this box. So we should definitely keep an eye out on this box. Uh, it's been known for the drama box. But hopefully these cute little guys will fledge soon. Lastly, you've got an Israel Barnall cam number one, the Barnall's fledged, so we do have a pigeon pair coming out, so keep an eye, they may start to breed soon. So wow, definitely a crazy week. I apologize, this clip was a little bit shorter than normal due to the ongoing conflicts. Uh, I've been less available to work on these videos, so I really apologize. But I thank you all for writing in the comments and the chats. Um, those timestamps are greatly important. It helps us find all these great and interesting things that happen. So thank you very much. Moderator, thank you very much. Uh, I really hope that we'll have better time soon and we will not need to hear sirens in our cameras or sirens anywhere in the world or any world at that. So really hoping for that. Uh, if you like this comment, content, if you can uh, donate, we'd greatly appreciate it. Put the uh, link in the description. So thank you very much again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep on watching. Hoot you later.